when politicians go to Washington, D.C., the District of Columbia, this is why they lose all wisdom. Columbia is another name for Bale, the District of Bale. They are working for and under the protection of the District of Bale, whose food source is the aborted babies. Do you think it's a coincidence that they are creating a food shortage for us? Did they know ahead of time that we were going after Roe versus Wade? They are going after our food sources because we are going after theirs. Beautiful. Which is the babies. The babies. Do you think it's also tied into this baby formula shortage? Because it's so ironic that we're talking about what you just said. Food source. And and, and food the food source of babies is now being cut off. There it's almost Mm. like the devil is trying to starve the, the babies that are living to death because the aborted issue is about to be cut off very soon. I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of amazed by <laughs> the amount of legs that these QAnon folks still have, um, even to this day, after their countless predictions and prophecies inevitably fall flat and never come to fruition. Somehow, some of these guys still have an audience and still have some fans and people that will, you know, uh, give them patronage in their various content endeavors. Uh, Recently, a self-proclaimed QAnon uh, prophet, a guy named Mark Taylor, he's basically theorizing about the baby formula shortage. And, you know, his claim is that... uh, (laughs) Because the people that are perpetuating the, 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 the baby formula shortage, like they, they sustain themselves on the feed from aborted fetuses. And they knew that the fetuses were, you know, were running dry because Roe v. Wade got reversed. And now they reverse engineered the, the food shortage for the babies. And then it, it's, it's all over the place. Um, but, you know, this is par for the course for these folks. And look, obviously, this is all just ridiculous, right? Um, This is like everything with these folks can't just be that, you know, we're still dealing with the effects of a global, a global pandemic and the problems with our supply um, system and the logistics and all of that being affected, being affected by this pandemic. It can't just be that we're still coming out of that. Uh, it's got to be some grand conspiracy. And what I find most fascinating about these conspiracy folks is, you know, a lot of them think that they're going against the grain in their type of thinking, right? Like they really think this is independent thought. Like this is what the powers that be don't want you to know or think about, which is kind of funny and ironic being that this is all just flows from right-wing rhetoric for the last 30 years, right? Like this is just... What you would expect to come out of the cynicism of that rhetoric. They are working for and under the protection of the District of Bale, whose food source is the aborted babies. Do you think it's a coincidence that they are creating a food shortage for us? Did they know ahead of time that we were going after Roe versus Wade? They are going after our food sources because we are going after theirs. Beautiful which is the babies. And how you know this comes out of hate radio, Fox News, you know, all of those media uh, situations is that they spew the same talking points like, oh, let me guess, you're pro-gun. Oh, you're anti-abortion. Oh, you think taxes are terrible. Oh, Like, they don't deviate at all. However, because those... You know, these entities are really powerful and they've been really playing on these people's fears for so damn long. These guys are just following the rhetoric of that cynicism down to its logical point. If you've demonized the left or what, you know, masquerades as a left in this country and, you know, by extension, the Democrats as these evil, crazy people and not just merely people who don't agree with you. This is what you get. They're reaping what they sow here with these ridiculous people and their ridiculous theories. And the worst part about it is like, look, these aren't just people they get to turn into suckers, use them for votes that empower them to keep rich people rich. Now these people have gotten hold of the damn party and are now running the show when you see guys like Carthorne and Marjorie Taylor Greene. So... This is just the the end result, Frankenstein, Frankenstein's baby, um, when it comes to the Republicans and their mass efforts 
of just being completely hate-mongering fools um, in all that they spew.